Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller. And uh, yeah, I'm still working on this warehouse. I'm still unpacking. I'm still organizing. I'm still like trying to get it all figured out. Yeah, right now what I'm doing over here, I'm trying to hang up this one sheet of um, like poly vinyl or whatever. Like I want to hang one up lengthwise and then have one on the floor. And unfortunately, I tried to staple it up and it's too thick. So then I had this idea to cut holes in it. Is this gonna work? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to test that out before I leave. And then I got these hooks to put into the pegboard and I figured I would just like hang it from there. Well, these are too darn thick. I got the wrong size, look. They're not even gonna, like I tried to shove one in there. Like I really tried to shove it in there and it just, it was like, nope, <laughs> not happening, girl. So I have to go back to the hardware store. It's all I've been doing, running from here to there and everywhere, trying to get what I need to get this place situated. So anyhow, you know what, right right now, let me just try this little hole punch and see if it's gonna be strong enough because if not, if not, I'm gonna have to probably It is. It is. It was strong enough. It worked. I was going to say, if not, I'm going to have to like get a drill or something. So I should probably put like, I should probably put like three holes in this. Hopefully they're all the same. That's not really in the middle. I can't tell if that is. Hmm. Okay. Then I'll do the other one later oh but okay so that's gonna work i brought my mannequin today i've got my clothing steamer i have my lights there's the bulbs but i'll tell you there's a ton of light in this room so i don't even know if i'll need um if i'll really even need those i'm gonna see what they what the photos look like uh, i do have my little table here I was gonna bring my small photo box and I'm not even sure if I'll need to use that. Like this actually might just suffice for kind of everything, but we'll see, I might end up bringing it. So over here, this is coming together. I do have another shelf to put up. Basically all of the clothes are here. And then we have some odds and ends here, some shoes at the top. More clothes, shoes, tons of shoes, tons of shoes. Look at all these shoes. I had no idea how many shoes that I had. These are my two favorite pair. <laughs> the baby shoes, baby Toms, baby Nikes. Aren't they cute? Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm still like unpacking stuff. More shoes. I want to get another, I want to get another one of these black racks put right there for more shoes in the future so that's what's going on I'll tell you I missed I missed about a day and a half last week uh because the electricians were here doing work all right so in here this room I've been like unpacking and stacking let's see here I have all the bankers boxes in in order <laughs> that's what I need to do with the shoes and the clothes honestly but that's going to take a lot longer to do. But these are all in order. Um, I just have stuff stacked all over. I, I haven't even really like inventoried this stuff. Um, but the stuff in the boxes is inventoried. This stuff I just started like stacking. So that's going to be kind of a, a nightmare if I don't remember where everything is. I, and I'm still unpacking in here too. It's just, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. But this room is like pretty good for like box stuff and whatever. I don't know. We'll see, that could change as I, um, you know, keep figuring things out. So that's an update. I still have stuff at my house as well, um, but I think I am going to leave a lot of it there in the basement. As long as I get, like, I have one room upstairs that still has stuff in that I need to clear out. And once that stuff is gone, um, I don't even care about the 
couple of remaining racks of stuff in the basement because as it sells, I'll just bring it here to ship it. Um, because yeah, I don't know. I just want to get back into actually like listing and selling. So over here I have decided, look, I still have all this stuff to unpack over here. I have decided to ship from here. This is working out pretty well. Um, this wall is not so attractive, but it is what it is. Um, I am going to get, uh, I am going to get a packing peanut dispenser hung up this week. And I have like the arm kind of things that hold the bubble wrap. So I am going to be doing that. That'll definitely come in handy and make shipping a little easier. Although I'll tell you with everything so close, it's already been a lot quicker. So I have here with like, this is my Dunkin' cup from this morning. Basically my packing paper, um, tissue paper, tape, envelopes, um, these little things, put clothing in or whatever, and then, you know, and different size envelopes, bubble mailers, padded flat rates. So it's really nice to just be able to grab whatever I need. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been working on this table. And like I said, it's, it's working out pretty well. Um, so yeah. And then over here, these boxes, I'm still unpacking these. I have to break down, but I am, this is right across from my shipping table. So it's working. I can just grab the boxes that I need, just take them right there. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So that's the update on that. Just death pile and other junk in there. And uh, this is uh, what I've been doing in this room. I have like, it's a little dark. The one light bulb blew out and I keep forgetting to grab one to bring it here. Anyway, just dishes. You guys know I love to sell my dinnerware. So dishes. Some other smalls and dish related things have been going there. Um, yeah, work in progress. I'll tell you one thing. This was, um, this was a lot, a lot of work, a lot more than I thought it would be. I think I'm not sure. I mean, I knew it was going to be a lot, but, um, definitely a lot. Oh. So thankfully Thankfully, I had help moving um, Steve, Jordan, Kira were fantastic. Um, I don't know what I would have done without them. So that definitely made things a lot easier. But um, yeah, it's definitely a work in progress. So anyway, enough rambling. I've had my store on vacation mode for an entire week. Actually, yeah, well, basically, I turned it on vacation mode last Monday, and it went off vacation mode, uh, like, midnight Saturday, going into Sunday, I guess, so it, I wouldn't have to ship Sunday anyhow. So, um, yeah, my sales were a little bit slower during the week, because I guess of, you know, the vacation thing on there, my they could tell that my items we're not going to ship in a timely fashion. So um, I still had orders, but not as many as I normally would have. So um, I guess we'll go through, we'll make this a warehouse update slash what sold the week of vacation mode, I guess, if you guys wanna stick around and watch that and uh, let's, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so this is actually a lot of items, even though even though I had my store on vacation mode, so I wasn't nearly as busy as I normally am for a whole week. Um, that's why I only usually do these videos for like my weekend sales because the whole week is just way too much. Um, but I figured since I had the store in vacation mode and sold less items, it was probably not going to be as long. But after I just opened all of these tabs, I'm like, oh, I did sell a, still a pretty substantial amount for having my store on vacation mode and not shipping for the entire week, basically. Um, but anyway, here we go. 
First item is, and sorry, it's a, it's a little echoey in here, <laughs> but, uh, oh, well, anyway. Okay, so first item, vintage Holly Berry set. Uh, I also sold another serving set earlier and two of the flatware sets. Um, I had like four of these that I picked up in, in Jersey over the summer. Anyway, this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is a vintage yellow lace shirt. Um, there, there was no size or anything, so I just took measurements and added those to the listing. Um, this sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I honestly don't remember where I got this, and I usually remember where I got everything. Almost everything, anyway. Uh, then I sold a Bill Levkoff dress. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a Walt Disney um, like race shirt. This was from 2015. I actually have, I had three of these. This is the first one that sold and I've had this listed for a couple of years. Um, so $12.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold this AT&T phone. Um, if you remember, I picked these up at a rummage sale a couple of weeks ago. It's in one of my videos. Anyway, um, this sold for $31 with free shipping. Next, I sold this White House ornament. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I usually sell these for about $15. This was missing the pamphlet, um, and it seemed to be going, this particular one seemed to be selling for more around $10 anyway, so that's what I got for it. Next, I sold this Michael Starr's poncho. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Uh, that was listed for a while too. Got that at a rummage sale. Next, I sold two sets to the same buyer. So a total of $70 for these um, Norataki Ashland place settings. I had three of these. I sold one about, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, and then the last two sold to the same buyer. These I picked up over the summer. Next, I sold a pair of Skechers. These sold for $18 plus shipping. And then this St. John's Bay shirt, St. John's Bay, not to be confused with St. John, the higher end brand. This is St. John's Bay. So this is like JC Penny. Um, <laughs> this is a super old listing, but this sold for $9.95 plus shipping. Next, I sold a three pack of Bobbi Brown lip color, and this is new and sealed. This set sold for $35 plus shipping. Next is a Rock and Republic mesh shirt. Um, that is a Kohl's brand. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And then a pair of B. Mikowski leather boots. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next, uh, this was from a very recent video and I bought all the Lennox and Waterford stuff from an online auction. This set sold for $20 plus shipping. And then I sold this um, vintage Seymour Man teapot. I don't know, I thought it was kind of unique when I picked it up and it sold for $25 plus shipping. A woman purchased this for someone's birthday. All right, next I took an offer, I believe it was $145 for this uh, vintage North Face ski snowsuit. All righty, and then I sold this Home Shopping Network Storybook Knit Storybook Knits cardigan. Uh, I got this over the summer with a whole bunch of other Storybook Knits sweaters. Uh, this one sold for $25 plus shipping. Next, I sold four False Graph Snow Village spoons. These sold for $21.95 with free shipping. I had a whole set of this and I parted it out and it took about three years for all of it to sell, but it has all sold now. These, these were the last, um, last four pieces I had left, I believe. 
All right, next is a Code 3 tiller truck. This sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Picked this up over the summer and I, I just listed it a few weeks ago. Not over the summer, I'm sorry, in the fall. I, I think it was actually like November when I picked this up. It was one of the last sales that I went to and it was definitely getting cold. All right, next is this I picked up in September. This is a um, Fenton Burmese custard glass duckling. I love these Fenton pieces. I absolutely love them. I picked up a bunch of different ones um, from this particular sale. This was also the same sale where I got the um, Norcrest birds that sold a couple weeks ago. Such a nice house. I loved that sale. Anyway, enough about that. This duckling sold for $45 plus shipping. Alrighty, and we still have people buying Halloween out there. This is just a um, vintage skeleton jack-o'-lantern die cut. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is a Vera Bradley jewelry or trinket box, whatever you want to call it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And of course, we have a cross stitch kit. This sold for $16.49 with free shipping. Okay, also from the lot I got a couple weeks ago, this Lennox Rudolph ornament sold for $40 plus shipping. Next, I sold four Stanley Roberts teaspoons. These sold for $22.95 plus shipping. Uh, then I sold these Clarks. I recently listed these. I think these were like one of the last things I listed before my move. Um, buyer sent me uh, a message asking if I would take 15. So I sent her an offer. So that's what these sold for. They sold for 15 plus shipping. Next, the second phone sold uh, to a different buyer, but both of these are sold now. Didn't take too long. Um, also for $31 with free shipping. Next, I sold this Germany, um, Germany, German cut to clear wine hock. This sold for $27.99 plus shipping. I love, love, love cut to clear glass. I love it. Okay, next is another one of these seat buckle type belts. Uh, this sold for $24.99 with free shipping. My Little Pony, haters gonna hate. Isn't that the truth? All right, uh, next is um, six Lennox Poppies on Blue dinner plates. These sold for $54 plus shipping. Uh, these were in one of my, I don't know, maybe December haul videos or thrifting videos. Um, I think the beginning of December. So still have one set of those left. All right, then I sold four Hampton carousel twist um, soup spoons, place oval soup spoons. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a Waterford tablecloth. This sold for $28 plus shipping. And same buyer came back around and bought my last four of the Stanley Roberts spoons, <laughs> $22.95 plus shipping. And then I sold a pair of Vince Eclipse flare leg jeans. These sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Uh, this, I still have six left, but they're gaining momentum. I can just feel it. Uh, I sold the first one a couple weeks ago before Christmas, and now this is the second one to sell. Um, I bought a whole bunch of like various Spider-Man night lights and wall lights and stuff like that from this sale over the summer. And uh, yeah, so I like multi-quantity listings. So this, this sold for $18 with free shipping, but it fit right into a padded envelope, first class, boom, there you go. So yeah, this is, um, this is supposed to like, I don't know, like crawl across the, the ceiling or something. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the first person who bought the first one, they left feedback saying it was like really awesome or whatever. So it's kind of, uh, I'm curious to see what it actually looks like. 
but I am not opening one. I'm not going to do that. All right, moving on. I sold a rubber stamp, um, PSX boat dock, retired, $22.99, free shipping. Next, I sold the last of these plates. Uh, these have been steadily selling for me. Um, I actually had more than a quantity of two, but I had updated the listing because I sold, I think I sold about a quantity of three of them and realized that I had more left. So I just kind of revised, I don't know. Anyway, I sold several of these in the past couple months. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. This sold for $18.99 plus shipping. And then this vintage Sturbridge poncho type sweater. I don't know. I just, I picked this up in the thrift a couple months ago and I, I was just certain someone was going to buy it. It just has like this kind of, this kind of look to it that I just, I don't know, had a feeling about it. And it sold pretty quickly uh, for $28 plus shipping. All right, next is a set of three Temptation salad plates. These sold, I took an offer of $20 on these plus shipping. Next is a Cat in the Hat Monopoly game. This is, I had two of these, uh, picked these up over the summer at a fantastic sale. Um, this is the second one to sell for $30 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Clark's Cloud Steppers. These I actually took an offer of $20 as well, plus shipping. Next is a universal knife sharpener. This was sitting in my death pile forever. And I'm like, hmm, let me just list that real quick. So I listed it, I think like the beginning of the month and it pretty much sold right away for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Gap jeans. These sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And then these, uh, these I picked up maybe September, October. I don't know. They were in a video though. Um, Lennox Winnie the Pooh candlesticks. Uh, these sold for $99.99 plus shipping for the pair. And then I sold a Lane Bryant shirt dress. It was missing the belt. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then an Isaac Mizrahi taco tablecloth. I knew someone had to have this. <laughs> um, I don't think it took that long to sell either. But um, yeah, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is another ornament set. These Waterford uh, snowmen sold for $19 plus shipping, also from my recent auction pickup. And then I sold these Dickies work pants. These sold for $24 with free shipping. These were also from a December rummage sale. I picked up two pair. One was a different size, uh, but they sold already. And now this pair sold. I actually had three pair and the third has a security tag on it. And I have a security tag remover, but it's more for like the round one. This is one of those long ones and it wouldn't work for it. So, hmm, I was gonna throw the pants out. I mean, I paid so little for them. I was just gonna, I was just gonna throw them out and I might have, I'm trying to think, they might still be at my house, I don't know. All right, then I sold six Lennox Poppies on Blue salad plates. So I sold some dinner plates earlier. Now we're at the salad plates. This is the second set to sell. These sold for $40 plus shipping. And then this, this I picked up, this was a fairly recent pickup as well. This Deruda um, hanging dish. Uh, I love picking up this pottery. This pottery always sells for me. This sold for $30 plus shipping. And then for Oneida Mozart pattern teaspoons, these sold for $25 plus shipping. This was the second set of these to sell. 
And then this Nambe alloy heart-shaped bowl, this sold for $20 plus shipping. Nice photo, look at my hands. <laughs> it's like almost unavoidable with things that are like shiny like that. All right, Clarks were hot this week, so I sold another pair of Clarks. <laughs> these sold for $22.50 plus shipping. And these were so light, these are like feather light. These actually went first class. Alrighty, and then this Sonoma Lodge, again, it's a Kohl's brand. This um, this pattern like has been like selling for me. So this is, um, I think the same as those plates, but it's a, uh, it is, it is the same pattern, but it's a casserole dish. So this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then this is a penguin craft kit, not really a cross stitch kit, some kind of like sewing kit, I guess. Um, yeah, simple stitch and glue assembly. So yeah, you have to like sew it. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And next I sold this Betty Boop Christmas ornament. This sold for $12 plus shipping. I think I picked this up at the flea market maybe in September, October. And lastly, I love these plates. These plates are beautiful. I picked these up about one year ago at a New Jersey rummage sale. And I know, I know I have that video posted. Um, and these sold for, I took a best offer of $185 and 88 cents for this pair of plates. Um, and they're just beautiful. They're hand painted and signed by the artist in 1898 I believe that they're dated so these these bad boys are old they are old very nice plates though super excited about that sale and yeah that's gonna wrap it up all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up uh, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. I am going to try to upload more as soon as I'm like settled in here. I do have a video I did thrift on Thursday of last week just because um, the electrician was in here and everything. So I went out and thrifted a little. So that video will be sometime during the week. And I did thrift New Year's Day, uh, a half off sale. I didn't video that, but I do have a haul that I can film and get that up for you guys. So, all right, until next time, bye.